Hey everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcoming you back to part 15 of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And in the last episode, we got to the Dodongo's Cavern here, and in this episode, we're gonna get started. So yeah, sorry for the long, the second long block of vid of time with no videos at all. Um, as you could probably tell from my last two or three videos, my nose is all stuffed up and I was pretty sick. But I'm over that now, at least I think I am, I'm mostly over it. So, yeah. Oh. What did I do that for? That was stupid. Will it still blow will it still work? No, not really. Oh uh, yeah, so what I'm trying to do now here is just you wanna take these bomb flowers and you wanna put them right down at the door there or at the stone wall. And it makes a doo -loo 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 sound. And we can enter the Dodongo's cavern. Yeah, it's that's what I just said at the start of the video. So thanks for clarifying that and everything. Uh, oh, what do you want now? It looks like there are many lava pits around here, so watch your step. Oh, uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, that's actually a good tip, but I think it's pretty much common sense that you don't want to step in lava. That, sh that might just be me, but I don't know. Uh, so, anyways, first thing you're... Oh, jeez. What are you doing? Uh, so first thing you want to do is going to go to the left. That Yeah, that's left. So, anyways, um... Yeah, what have you guys been doing for the past little while that we haven't been able to talk, or that we haven't, that I haven't talked to you? For, you know. Um, I've been doing some stuff. I've been playing some Super Mario World ROM hacks and making some Super Mario World ROM hacks. Actually, by the way, this is a dungeon map. Like we haven't seen that before. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've been getting to Lunar Magic now and starting to figure out how it works and everything. So yeah, it's all good. Oh, there's, oh, there's nothing else over here for you. That guy will sell you a Deku shield, but since we already have one, we don't really need that. We might later, just a little something. You know, more on that later, I guess. Uh, so, anyways, yeah. I'm not exactly done with my ROM hack yet. I'm still in the process of making it, but it's turning out good so far. Uh, what's here? I can't see. Oh, it's just a rock wall. Yeah, it's hard to see in this place because it's so dark, and like I mentioned before, my screen brightness isn't exactly... It's kind of subpar, I guess you could say. Oh, I hit that guy pretty well for the screen or for the screen brightness. Anyways. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, by the way, I hope you like that thing I put at the start of the video. Like, I, I actually made that a week or so ago, I'm not sure. And I decided, yeah, what the hell, let's make... Just make something simple for a little dungeon intro. You'll expect it for the next dungeon, the third dungeon, too. Uh, these guys, these are Dodongos, I think. Uh, let's see. Oh, well, I killed it. I didn't mean to kill it, but oh well. Yeah, they just they explode when you kill them, so watch out. Oh, it's a baby Dodongo, okay. Yeah. Uh, so anyways, I haven't really been talking about what I'm doing in the dungeons, basically just blowing shit up so far. Uh, you want to kill that guy right there, right close to that wall, so that you can actually enter here. Because I think, is this right, is this the room that I'm thinking of? It might be. And... Well, I, yeah, it is, it is. Because there's a gold skull in here, just right over here. Dude, get, oh my god! Oh my god, whenever you see a fire keys like that, like you just saw on the screen, you want to immediately switch out your shield for the Highland Shield, because if you get hit by a fire keys while wearing the Deku Shield, then your shield will burn away, and you don't want that happening since the Deku Shield is your, I guess, practical shield, you'd say. What am I doing? Why don't I just, I can just take out my slingshot. Duh. Oh, no, that's Deku Sticks, you stupid. And now I want to take out Deku Sticks too, because I think I'll need them later. Oh, jeez. Yeah, see, you catch fire and everything, and it's not fun. It can't be very fun for Link. He's just a little kid, and he's catching fire. Oh, jeez, not again. What are you doing that for? I hate you. Okay, and can you please die? Thank you. Okay, so here is the something at the Gold Sculpture Line. I'm not really keeping count like I am with the video numbers. And as you can see, it's just barely too high for us. So if that ever happens to you, then you just want to turn away from it, L target, and do a backflip. And you'll get an epic shot of Link, too. He's like, doo doo doo. Yeah, he's all like, doo doo doo. Well, that makes sense. 
Uh, so anyways, you know, this dungeon is its pretty much the only real dungeon-like area that you do for a little while at least, until something happens later on that I'm not going to spoil for you. No spoilers for you, even though it probably wouldn't be a spoiler because most everyone and their grandma has played this game. So anyways, uh, there's a little bit of a puzzle over here. It's not anything huge. You just have to pull these statues out and push them onto that blue switch over there. Come on. Are you gonna grab it, Link? Thank you. Yeah, today would be nice, so... <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so... I promise that another long block without videos won't happen again, at least as far as... I'm cons uh, At least as far as things are going right now. Because, yeah, like the first time it was because I had so much work to do, but that's all cleared up. I'm all organized and stuff now. Um... No, don't take care of the stick, Link. Don't take care of your dick, you dick. Oh, so anyways, yeah. And yeah, like the second time I like I just said, which was just because my nose was all stuffed. So I was standing like this kind of yeah, it was very fun. Oh my god, it's a mini boss. But not really, because it's super it's really easy. Okay, so there's this guy, and he's gonna he's gonna try and hit you, but you just block him and then you hit him again and he jumps to the other side of you and you try to block him but you fail. Obviously. And once you hit him three times, he'll hop away, and another one should come. Or is this... Do you fight two here? I can't remember. Oh, yes, you do. Yes, you do. Okay. Oh, I blocked that, like, just in time. Now, the trick is basically just block and then counterattack. That's basically all there is to it. Okay, sorry about that cut there. Something kind of came up, but we're back to this now. No big deal. Uh, Anyways, where are these guys coming from? Here's one. Okay, lock on, Link. That's it. Now, attack, and, or block and counterattack. Lock and counterattack. I guess attack. Nope. He's too far away. Yeah, see, if you try to attack them without blocking first, they're usually just too far away for you to hit them with your puny little sword. Yeah. Unless you use a Deku dick, I suppose. Where is the guy? There he is. Yeah, attack. Oh, jeez die. Yeah, I hit him with the Deku Dick just to be. That's my finishing move. Yeah. I'm awesome like that. Okay. Oh, I hate this room. Well, I don't really hate it, but it's not the best room in the dungeon, let's just say that. Uh, first thing you can do here is pick this up, and you can go place it over by this wall, and you can watch it go boom, and make the doodle -doo -doo sound. Such a nice little sound. And in here, there's this guy. He looks kind of like the guy who sold us our big Deku stick pouch. Ha uh, ha. Oh, alright, you win. In return, I will sell you Deku sticks. One piece, 15 rupees. Let's make a deal. I don't know. This guy's really just here because you need Deku sticks in the upcoming part here. Like, just in the room that I was just in, you need Deku sticks to progress. So, if you don't have any Deku sticks, which I do, thankfully. Um, then you can do that. So anyways, these are the big Dodongos. And you want to wait for them to blow their fire. You circle, and you circle around to the back. Hit their tail and block. If you don't block, they'll hit you with your tail and cause damage, and that's annoying. You can also try and hit their tails with a jump attack. Let's see if I can do one of those, actually. No. Whatever. Okay, and just like the baby Dodongos, they blow up after you kill them. Yeah. And drop some bullets. So anyways, uh, there's actually two or three in this place, if I remember right. Oh god, there's one right now. Scared the shit out of me, man. Oh, see, I see, I didn't block in time, so it hit me. But now I did block in time, so it makes the wooden clink sound, I guess. The wooden clink sound? No, it's a metal clink sound. What's a wooden sound? I don't know. Wooden creak sound? But it's not really a creak, it's just... I don't know. So is that the last one? No, oh my god, scared the living shit out of me, man. And, can you, can I hit your tail? Thank you. And circle out to the back here. Uh, looks like we're just about running out of time here for this episode. So, after I kill this guy, I guess, I'll terminate the episode. Terminate. Yes, I will terminate the episode. So, in the next episode, we're going to continue with the Dodongo's Cavern, and I'm going to talk about more random crap. Uh, this is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.